after 5 o'clock on Saturday, October 30th. We finally got a westerly wind, and so Ryan and I have made a move on the home farm after Chubbs. I've moved to this bottom uh, turnip plot. I've hunted before out of this cherry tree that's down below us, um, but I don't, can't shoot really well out of that tree, and if I cut too much of the cover off around it, it's exposed, so I've been staring at this white oak for a while. It's a huge tree, and we're about 30 feet up with screw-in steps, and uh, got our lifeline hung, and I managed to get these stands up in the tree, but I really do like the setup. We got here a little bit late today because my, my kids had a piano recital. And so we went out to that and then we came get in this tree and Chubbs was out on this food plot the 23rd and the 26th in daylight. And uh, the 23rd was the first picture this year that I've had him in this plot. I think the a lot of the deer have kind of switched to the brassicas. We've got a few frost. The corn's been picked over, the beans have been cut alfalfa has dried up, you know, and so I think the food that this camera's like picked up more activity lately of does and some more of the deer have moved down in here. I've also been getting pictures of patient X down here. So this morning we went back to the same setup that we hunted last night where we had the awesome encounter with Chubbs and the 6x5. They broke out in a fight at 80 yards in the brush. Almost got a shot at uh, the 6x5. I had him at 45 yards and I thought he was going to come up the lane and it just didn't work out. He went, he dipped down in the woods and fought Chubbs and ran Chubbs off. And then um, I snort wheezed at him a couple times, but he worked his way up to the beans and actually the cherry tree stand. Um, and it just wasn't meant to be. It was a really awesome encounter nonetheless. So we went back in there this morning and about 8.30 we had one big doe group come in, does and fawns about six or seven of them and we had one three and a half year old buck that came pushing around that was it all morning and uh so i decided to just make a move and come over here so we're gonna get quiet and see how the hunt goes Just got back to the truck and uh pretty fun night i mean in the food plot it was pretty slow we had that three-year-old tin come by at the back end of the food plot no other deer came into the plot um the setup worked great i really like it i'm glad i got that stand up in the tree wind stayed true uh, most of the deer activity that we could see was up on the hill in the bean field under the cherry tree set uh, in that pinch in the bean field saw four different bucks and four different does uh, the oldest was a three and a half year old buck you know, this time of year, you're kind of the mercy of um, which food source the does leave the bedding area and head to. Uh, they definitely had the win in their favor for the cherry tree set tonight. And, uh, you know, so that's just, that's just how it is sometimes. But fun night in the woods. It's a little bit warmer tonight. It's 58 degrees. That might have had something to do with a little bit sore movement, too.
we're gonna stick after it. I've got a few more days before I have to get back to work. Not sure where we're gonna head to tomorrow. Uh, may head down to the river for me in the morning, but either way, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. <laughs>